an interrogation by Detective Steve Flores, but it sounds like a therapy session uh, with a psychiatrist and a patient. Good detective work is like therapy. These detectives are all about getting that person to the emotional truth where they break down. And I want to bring in Dr. Judy Ho, clinical psychologist out of Los Angeles. As you watch this, and it goes on and on for hours, it is like he's trying to get her to admit what he knows, which is very similar to therapy, where the doctor usually knows what's wrong with the patient, but the emotional catharsis occurs when the patient figures it out themselves. That's right. And what's happening right now with Jody is she has stepped across the line in terms of the level of manipulation that she's used. She's pretending right now that she is still this innocent person and she keeps changing her story over and over and over again. And what's going to happen with a jury, and we know this from social psychology research, that attractive women do tend to get lighter sentences. Jurors tend to sympathize with them, but as soon as any level of manipulation is picked up or any sense of lying or using their looks you know to get take advantage of other people when that happens they get even heavier sentences and so what's happening right now with you know Jody's really digging her own grave here I mean she's really kind of made a whole mess of this thing uh, well again I've never seen more evidence in any case I've ever covered it, who has a um, if this is his shower, he's sitting here, I was like, well, if this is his shower, I'm sitting here, I was like right here on my knees in his bathtub, I was right here, and I was taking him here, and I was just going through the pictures, and I heard this loud ring. Uh, honestly, the Oscar goes to Jody Arias. What a performance. Uh, Dr. Judy Ho, there are actors in Hollywood who would love to have these skills. Uh, when I see her moving around and jumping around, and, and let's show her doing her stretch while the detective takes a break to watch her, um, I, I see somebody who is almost actively living in a fantasy world, almost as if anything that enters her brain, and we see this with other pathological liars, suddenly something clicks and it becomes their reality. Absolutely. You know, what's happening is she really has the sense of, actually believing in the web of lives that she's created. And so the fact that she's walking around demonstrating what happened with these ninja intruders and I was here and they were here and I was crouching like this, you know, acting this out with her body, it's not normal behavior. You know, when she was in the interrogation room by herself, doing the stretches, taking a little nap. I mean, this is not what people do when they hear that somebody they were dating was just murdered. If she really didn't do it, you know, there are uh, different types of behaviors that we would be seeing here. A quick caller, Nancy Vermont. Your question or thought, Nancy? Yes. Hi, Jane. Hi. Uh, Hi. I love your show. Thank and, you. Uh, 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 Dr. Judy Ho, clinical psychologist, I don't know if we can go back to that stretch because something about that stretch just it captures my imagination and it really encapsulates how insane this case is um, and, and why the, the public is fascinated with it. What do you make of this woman stretching like this when she's accused of murder and her life is on the line? You know, earlier somebody had mentioned that she's a bit of a psychopath, you know, that there, even if there's no history, that this is how she's behaving. And what we know about psychopaths is that their brain activity is extremely low in very stressful situations, such as being interrogated for murder. And I feel like the, the bodily reflection of that, you know, her stretching, relaxing her body more, sending more signals to her brain that everything is okay. You know, there's something going on there. And I, and I think what's happening, too, is that she is really a narcissist because she really yeah, and, thinks and that speaking with all of all narcissism of stories, doctor look at her looking at herself in court she studies herself that's her in court looking oh. at the video of herself and she's fascinated oh when it's uh autopsy photos no but if it's her no matter what's going on she wants to see the I'm whole so thing take it all in you are absolutely right um, yes. A malignant narcissist that's one phrase that I've heard there's so many borderline personality I mean so many diagnoses seem to fit this woman. Uh, on the other side, uh, Dr. Hughes and his story about Jody.